Hello, welcome to chapter 8, lesson 8. We're going to write fractions as decimals. So example 1. The average weight of a tennis racket is 2 and 2 fifths pounds. Write this weight as a decimal. So write 2 fifths as a decimal. So write 2 fifths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. So the main reason they're not really specifying we want to do write all of our fractions. We want our denominators to be a power of 10. Because if it's a power of 10, it's easy to convert into a decimal. So to get to the denominator to be 10, I need to do 5 times 2. And whatever I do to the bottom, I must do the top. So 2 times 2 as well. So we have 4 out of 10. So write the fraction with a denominator of 10 of a decimal. So 2 fifths is going to equal 4 tenths because we have a denominator is 10 here and a numerator is 4 so our uh, decimal becomes 4 tenths you can use the place value chart to read the decimal so 4 tenths so that is in the tenths place the reason why it's in the tenths place is because our denominator is 10 so the average weight of a tennis racket is four tenths of a pound. So our other method so is by putting the denominator to 100. Because if you look at three fourths, I won't be able to multiply four with the whole number to get 10, but I can get from four to 100. So if I do 4 times 25, that's going to give me 100. And then whatever I do to the top, I mean, whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So 3 times 25 is going to equal 75. So my decimal is not going to end in the hundredths place. So my decimal is my numerator, 75 hundredths. So read as a decimal as 70 five hundredths. I'm going to show you a more advanced method as well. So three divided by four, that's the same as three divided by four. It's the same as just dividing um, decimals. So four goes into three zero times. Now, normally we would do the remainder, but we can move on. So if I put a, z a decimal behind the 3 and annex a 0, 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. That's 2. I do not want a remainder, so I'm, I'm going to add another 0. So we're going to drop down the 0. 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And now I have a remainder of zero, so my final answer is 75 hundredths. But today we're focusing on changing the denominator to 10 or changing the denominator to 100. And then that will give us our decimal. So go ahead and try the guided practice. So in our guided practice, 5 can change it to a 10 if you multiply by 2. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 2. We get 2 tenths. So decimal is 2 tenths, and I'm going to read it as 2 tenths. Remember the 10 here is the same as the tenths here. Write 11 over 25 as a decimal. So I can change 25 to 100 by multiplying it by 4. So I'm going to do the top and bottom by 4. 25 times 4 is 100. 11 times 4 is 44, so I get 44 hundredths. Remember, the denominator is hundredths. And then my numerator is my decimal. But that's the end of the video, so thank you for watching.